Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your love tarot card reading. So today I haven't been able to stop yawning. So there will be times during the course of this video that I may yawn and take a pause to catch my breath. It can't be helped. So I'm not really feeling tired, it's just that it's very warm on the inside of the house and on the outside it's very cold. So let's see. The first energy I'm looking at is showing to me that someone has left, right? This could be you, this could be the individual you're dealing with. You know, for some of you there might be some difficulties that you're going through in your love life. I feel like at one point, you know... There was a lot of love there. You might have been dealing with someone that you truly felt a connection with. And this person enjoys the attention that you give them. And you enjoy the attention that they give you. So I do pick up from this particular energy that, you know, there's uh, something that draws the two of you together. And uh, there's this energy of where, you either want to be around them or want to be near them just because they uplift you or they make you feel good. So I do pick up that particular energy from that card, right? Now let's look at the next energy. For some of you, you might have been married to this person or this person might be married to someone else. That's one of the possibilities in the situation. I am picking up that it could be... A difficult energy, right? Someone is attached to someone else, or maybe someone's not wanting commitment, or someone is um, being just a nuisance, could be. This card could also symbolize uh, difficulties in um, religious beliefs, or difficulties in how the two of you approach your relationship and your interaction with one another because people often overlook that you know sometimes you can love somebody a great deal but because of all the external rubbish factors you know people can uh, interfere in the dynamic of a relationship right and they have no idea that they're doing that and um, eventually it's too late and uh, you know it's the couple that suffers at the end of the day it's not really the people who were interfering in the relationship and if um, you know there's certain factors or elements getting in the way of it it's making the thing more complicated i feel like this person wants to get back together with you or someone wants to get back together right you could be wanting to get back together but there's a secret there's something that's being hidden here there's some sort of element of this energy that is um causing havoc in this relationship so i do feel that right i'm uh, sensing from the energies that it's uh, hard for the two of you to come together mainly on the fact that um, there's uh, these sort of uh, difficult emotions could be secrets could be difficult energies i will clarify the cards in a moment right so what i'm sensing here is that the two of you are you know stuck in a very complicated situation and it's not really helping you or this person to get out so i am sensing that uh, you don't know what to do at this point of time yeah, i feel like at one point there was a new beginning fresh start something happened you know this could have been uh, in the last few weeks, could have been the last few months, but uh, it's definitely there. You know, that energy of trying to either come together or make this work. I feel like someone may have approached 
maybe send a message, maybe try to fix things, maybe try to uh, give a sign, a hint, a clue, something of that nature, right? Yeah, but I feel like it didn't really work out like the way you wanted it to. So the two of you ended up feeling neglected and lonely. Feels as if this um, this sort of opportunity was rebuffed, was ignored, was turned down, right? Could be one of the possibilities there. Right, so I feel like this individual wants to open up their heart. But this will be at... A bit of a later stage, right? They have to go through this loneliness first before they can uh, realize what's missing or what's uh, not working in the situation. So I am sensing that sort of energy of, uh, you know, a need to suffer. Sometimes people need to suffer in order to know what they're missing. So this could be the individual that you're dealing with. They might need to suffer a little bit more. The next card is showing to me dishonesty, lies, betrayal, someone's cheating or just not being straightforward, right? Could be some silly behavior in the side that could be occurring, right? I feel like you want stability, you want commitment. And look, look what's in the outcome. The lovers. That's a very interesting sort of card to come out, given what the two of you have been through. And I'm not really surprised because with Scorpios, it's always an emotional roller coaster. Ups and downs, deep passions, heightened emotions, screaming matches, making out sessions, craziness, pulling each other's hairs. But getting back together sounds fun. Sounds really fun. Okay, so let's clarify the cards now. I'm seeing from the cards that someone is very feisty and fiery, trying to fight off this breakup, not wanting to accept it, still deeply in love, wants to communicate that, wants to show it, wants to illustrate it, demonstrate it, express it. I feel like you're dealing with an individual that might not have known what they wanted and they're suffering along the way. And uh, I feel like they could be deeply in denial of the emotions or feelings they have for you because they do have it bad. So what I'm sensing from the cards is that this individual is not wanting to reach out in the future sense, but kind of wanting to reach out, holding back to do so, wanting to have a new beginning with you. But should they, should they not? You know, what should they do under these circumstances? Very interesting energies. Okay, let's clarify some more. So I, I was going to do an extended, but I think I'm going to skip that. And I'm just going to spend the next five minutes yawning after this video. So let's see. Yep, this person is struggling to open up their heart, struggling to confess what's inside of their soul. They do love you, right? They do, but they might not want to say it. They don't want to admit their feelings. They're thinking a lot inside of their head, wanting to move forward. Then there is a part of them that is afraid of taking action, right? So there's a lot going on inside of this individual you know, whether or not they choose to reach out to you in this month is up in the air, but they are thinking about you, they are missing you, they do want to get back together with you. If you were to reach out to them, maybe things might change, but who really knows? You know, people are very complicated in many, many ways. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal reading, 
you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Right. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot cards, you can check out the description box below for more links on how to do so. Have a wonderful day and happy yawning.